We're going to be solving practice exercise 5.25, chars sorted. So we want to write a method. It's going to be a public method. It's called chars sorted. And we know it's going to return a boolean. We'll get to that in a second. But it's called chars sorted. And it accepts a string as parameters. So string, I'm just calling this string. And it returns true if the characters in the string appear in a sorted alphabetical order. So for example, we have the calls chars sorted here. We have a, B, C, D, E, and then we have this right here, should return true, um, and then we have this beads should return false. This is just basically an example of how this will work. So what I'm going to do is, we're going to take this string right here, and let's say it looks like this right here. Well, we're going to store it into, we're going to store its length, and we're going to do two things with that length. The first is we're going to make a new array with it. And with that new array, we're going to compare every single character in that array, which is sorted with this string. And if they're the same, we'll return true. We're going to have to use the arrays class for this. So the first thing we want to do is use the length. So int length is equal to string dot length. This is super simple. We're just getting this length so we can use it in our for loops. We want to make the character, so uh, the character array that we're comparing it to. So this is the character array for comparison. We have char inside of here. And um, we're going to call it just new string that we're just comparing it to. And we're setting it equal to a new char. And then we want to have the length inside of here. That way we get the same length of the string. Now we're going to want to read characters into the new array. So we have a for loop here. Int a is equal to zero. We're going to run this as long as our a is less than length, and increment a every single time that we are inside of here. So inside of this for loop, we are going to just put everything inside of our new string. So we'll do new string at the a, a its index, and we're setting it equal to the string dot, and we're going to get the char at this index right here. The sorting is going to come after we go through this entire thing. So this is our for loop here now. Now we can work on our sorting. In our sorting, we are just going to do the arrays dot sort, and this is part of the arrays class, and we're just going to pass in the array itself, new string. That's all we have to do. After this comes the comparison. Inside of the comparison, we have the same for loop that we have up here. So I'll just take it and paste it down here. It's going to have the same header. Inside of this for loop, though, we are going to want to do our comparison. So we're going to say, if we're going to grab our array, so new string, and we want to get the specific elements, specific character at the eighth index, we're going to pass an a here. If it is not equal to the same string dot char at, so the character in the string here, we're going to return false. And that should be it. So we'll close this for loop. We'll close. Uh, we don't want to close our method yet, because if we don't do any of that, we're just going to want to return true, because that means it is sorted and we never break out and return false. We can press submit. I missed a semicolon. We'll submit again. Our code does not compile because of the following errors. So we have something wrong here. Char sorted. Is that the specific part? And it looks like I spelled it wrong. So if we spell it correctly, that way we can call it. We pass seven, three out of three tests. And that is it for this exercise, 5.25 chars sorted.